वेलकम टू नाउ हाउ वेयर वी ब्रिंग यू प्रैक्टिकल एक्सेल ट्यूटोरियल टू लेवल अप योर स्प्रेडशीट स्किल्स इन टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल वी विल डाइव इन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ प्रोग्रेस बार्स यूजिंग चेक बॉक्सिस एंड कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग दिस टेक्निक विल एड अ डायनेमिक टच टू योर प्रोजेक्ट स्टे ट्यून टू लर्न हाउ टू विजुअली ट्रैक प्रोग्रेस इन द एक्सेल लाइक अ प्रो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर द हाईलाइट ऑफ वट वी विल बी लर्निंग इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल here you can see that we have the project name and we can list different project over here then we have the phases like for example each project is completed in different phases so we have the phases and we will be learning to develop such check boxes over here and after this we have the completion status in the form of progress bar and at the end we have the status that could be in progress or completed and we want that as soon as we complete any phase or section of the project we just make a tick over here and when we tick the completion status is changed as we tick into these check boxes and as soon as this 100% is completed the status is automatically changed from in progress to completed as well as highlighted with the red color so we will be learning all this in this tutorial keep connected with me till the end of this video and i promise you that you will learn many new things about the microsoft excel don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos so first of all we will learn how we can insert check boxes into these phases for this purpose we have to enable the developer tab over here If your developer tab is enabled you can skip this step if it is not you have to right click on anywhere in the tab and then select the customize ribbon and after this you just have to check this developer and then press okay my developer tab is already enabled so i am going to cancel this i will go to this developer tab and then I will click this insert and select this check box and draw the check box in this cell. I will click here and press the delete button until this text is deleted and then click outside of this check box. I have to right click it and move it to center align this into the cell. After this I will drag this handle to the right and then to the bottom so that the check boxes are filled in all the cells i have to link these check boxes to the cell for this purpose i am going to right click and then select the format control and then i will click in this link cell and select this cell in which the check box is present and then press okay So this is how I have linked this check box to this cell. I have to do this for all the cells manually because there is no shortcut of doing this. So now you can see that as I click on any cell it gives the value as true or false. If I check it it gives the true and if it is uncheck it gives the value as false i have linked these check boxes to the cell so that i can calculate the completion status in the numeric values as well to remove this unnecessary text behind these check boxes i am just going to select these check boxes and i will change the font color to white so now i wanted to calculate the completion status in terms of the numeric value for this purpose I want to calculate the number of the true or the false value. So I am going to calculate the number of true values with the help of function count if. So I will write equal count if. Hit the tab key. And first I have to select the range. So I will select all these phases. After this I will put comma, and then my criteria is the true. so i will write true in inverted commas i will close this bracket and press enter 
So now you can see that as I click in any phase, the completion status is calculated in the form of the numbers. To change this number into percentage, I just simply divide it on the number 4 because there are total 4 phases. After this, I will select this cell and press this percent sign to change it into percentage. So now you can see that it is showing the completion in the form of percentage. I am going to left line this percentage. Another thing that I want to add is the progress bar. To change this percentage into progress bar, I will keep select this cell and then I will go to the conditional formatting under the home tab. And here I will select the new rule. I will keep select the first option that is the format all cells based on their values. And here under the format style I will select the data bar. I will change this minimum to number as 0. And the maximum value is also changed to number. And here I will write 1. I can also choose the color and then I will press OK. To apply this on all the rows, I will drag this to the down. So now as I check into different checkboxes, you can see that the progress is being calculated in the form of percentage. Now the last thing that I want to write over here is the status. So as you know, that until this progress is changed to 100%, the status will be in progress and if this percentage is changed to 100%, then it means that the project has been completed. So I will use the if function to give all these condition to this cell. So here in this cell, I will write equal if bracket start, this percentage is equal to 100% then the project is completed so I will write in inverted commas completed otherwise it is in progress so I will write in inverted commas in progress close this bracket and press enter to apply this to all the cell, I will drag this handle to down. You can see that if I check the fourth column, the status is changed to completed. I also want to highlight this completed. So for this purpose, I have to use the conditional formatting. I will select this cell and I will go to the conditional formatting under the home tab. Here I will select this new rule and here I will select this format only cells that contain and the option I will choose is the specific text and the text I will write over here that is completed. After this I will press this format. I wanted to fill this cell with the color so I will select any color. I can choose any fill effect so I will click this. I will choose the color that is red and from the shading style I am selecting this from center and press OK. Again I have to press OK and OK. To apply this to all cells I will drag this handle to down and now you can see that it is showing me the completed project as red. And there you have it. We hope you found this tutorial on creating progress bars with checkboxes and conditional formatting in Excel helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Nowhow for more Excel insight and hit that notification bell so you stay updated. Feel free to leave any question or suggestions in the comment section below. Until next time, happy spreadsheeting.